this video was going to be one of my most favorite videos that I've ever posted. It is something that made me so happy, but it also has brought me so much sadness that I can't even really put it into words. It's been a few days, and so this video is basically showing you guys kind of the story of this hummingbird nest that I found in my backyard. And then unfortunately, something happened and the babies didn't survive and they, oh my God, I don't even like, I hate talking about it, but I really wanted to share this video with you guys because it is something that made me so happy. And so many of you were like sharing this journey with me. We were live streaming on Twitch. I think we almost hit like 300 hours. I kind of just like left you guys hanging with this whole Twitch stream. It was really traumatic because we had all had invested so much time and so much heart and so much love into these little birds. And then, you know, for this tragedy to happen, a lot of you may have never had to deal with grief or loss of a loved one or friends or pets or anything. So grieving for some of you may be something that is new. So anything that you're feeling, it's totally normal. It's confusing. Don't be afraid to cry. Don't be afraid to ask for help or talk to someone. And being able to do that and for us here to just kind of connect and grieve together is something that I think is very important. And I just want you all to know that I love you guys so much and for just sharing this beautiful journey with all of us here online. And I just want you to know that Kiwi is still out there and it just is the most heartbreaking, but also like the most beautiful thing to just kind of still go outside my backyard and she's still there. So a little over a week ago, I discovered a hummingbird nest in my backyard. And I can't even tell you how I felt when I found it. Like I actually started getting emotional. I almost cried because I've never seen a hummingbird sit still before. Not only that, there were two eggs in there. I was out of town for about three weeks on a road trip with my sister. And when I came back, this was here waiting for me. And I started doing a live stream over on Twitch. And like at this point, it's been going for over a week. We witnessed both of the eggs hatching live. When the first one hatched the first day, we were all losing our minds. And with a little bit of research, the chat was like, hey, there's a really good chance that this other egg is going to hatch tomorrow. So once the eggs are laid, there's about a 13 to 17 day period before they hatch. So we found this nest at the most perfect time ever. Here she is behind me. This is Kiwi and her two babies, which currently have not been named at this point. And what's really weird is I don't have any like hummingbird food or I'm a feeder. Like there's nothing that I've ever done to bring them here. Now, after finding this nest, I also found three others in my trees. I feel like I have some sort of weird wildlife sanctuary that I didn't even know existed back here. But wait, is that something else? What's that right there? That also looks like a potential other one that has fallen off. This is, so that's five. How in the world do I have five freaking hummingbird nests? Like they must've been nesting here for a very long time and I didn't even know it. Kiwi could have actually been born in one of these nests and now she's back having her babies. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. So the crazy thing is anytime I come out here and she flies away, like I can spot her up here just watching. So it's like she knows, oh there she is, she's over there, she's over there, she's over there, she's over there, she's over there. You see her, see her, you see her, see her, you see her. She's over here. Some may say, Justine, are you losing your mind? And I'd say, maybe. She's gonna zip over here real soon. There she is, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes. And that's what's so crazy about this. It's so hard to capture a hummingbird on camera and the fact that she just sits here and hangs out and feeds her babies. And we've been watching her for almost 200 hours live on Twitch. It's fascinating. It's, it's absolutely fascinating. So here's the stream setup. I'm streaming everything off of this Surface Book 3 and this thing has been on for over 200 plus hours at this point. I haven't even turned the screen off. Like I have been pushing this little laptop to its absolute limits. It's connected with an Elgato capture card, which is going outside to my Sony a7S III with a 70 to 300 millimeter lens on. Now, when I started this, I was using the a7 III and it kept overheating and I didn't really want to put my brand new a7S III out there, but I had to do it for the Nest Cam. I'm also working on a couple of upgrades for this. I'm gonna add a webcam here so I can do some live streaming and live commentary over top of 
the Baby Bird Stream. I'm going to be getting a 600 millimeter lens that I'm borrowing from Sony to be able to really get in that nest. Like I wanted to feel like we're inside of it. And what's so weird is watching this stream, you can't really see how small these birds actually are. These birds weigh absolutely nothing. Like the eggs were almost like the size of Tic Tacs. It's crazy. This bird has brought me so much joy. Like I can't even explain it. And it's so cool to be able to share this with you. And seeing all of the comments in the chat has been so fun. And I love that you guys are also invested in this as well. And I think today in this video, we're going to officially name the babies. So stay tuned. Let's open up that webcam and get this set up. So here it is, it's USB and it has adaptive light sensor, 1080p, 60 frames a second, it's also HDR enabled, and nice wide angle lens with an adjustable field of view, USB 3 and flexible mounting options, which is very important for, you know, commentating over top of baby birds. I love this flexible mount because you can mount this to a tripod or you can even just kind of set it on the back of like your monitor or your laptop. Oh, this unscrews too. So if you want to add this just to a tripod standalone, you can do that or you can add the flexible mount back on. And there's also a little tripod attachment here as well. So many options. Oh, it's got a little lens cap too. That's nice. Birdstream is about to evolve yet again. Let's go set it up. About to test the webcam for the first time, and this is so cool, I plugged it in and it auto-installed, auto-recognized, and then I downloaded the Razer Synapse app, which will let me get some more in-depth controls with this camera, but really I don't need it. I just added it into Streamlabs and we're ready to go. We're now going to name the babies live. I have a few duo names right now, but we need two more duo names. Webcam here, test, oh my God, they're feeding, they're getting fed. They're feeding, they're feeding, they're feeding, they're feeding. Oh, feed the back one. The back one needs fed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're getting your meal, have your meal. Hi guys, welcome to the stream. So I'm actually recording a YouTube video right now. We need two more duo names. You guys keep saying Yerba and Mate, but that's like so, so obvious, you know? Kahlua and Cream. That's cute. Egg and other egg. <laughs> that's it. Egg and other egg. <laughs> We gotta get the pole all set up. So guys, this is a very big moment. The babies are gonna get their name. What do we name the babies? Frap and Chino, Mochi and Matcha, Coffee Bean. <laughs> Dude, that's my vote. Lemon and Lime and, <laughs> and Egg and Other Egg. Here we go. I'm voting coffee bean and tea leaf not to like sway your votes. Coffee bean and tea leaf is very close to my heart. Oh my gosh, Emily is here. She has just rated the, the channel with 12 viewers. Hi, Emily. I think lemon and lime are winning right now. Shoot, we've only got a few more minutes left. Jenna's saying voter fraud. <laughs> <laughs> no mail-in ballots here. It's just, you know, suggestions. Stop the count. Someone is suing for defamation of the lemon and lime name. History repeats again. Oh my gosh. We stole the voting. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Oh, this is, the suspense is, is actually killing me. I am gonna go to Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf after this if it wins. And we have ourselves a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf has won. <laughs> Kiwi named your babies Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf now. How do you guys feel? to drink my lattes here. I would sit by the fire and enjoy it. And now there's no enjoying. So it looks like my favorite coffee bean and tea leaf is closed. Guess the baby names are now a tribute. Let's go find another one that might actually be open.
So we're gonna be approaching a coffee bean and tea leaf that appears to be open. There's a sign that says we're open. This one's for you, Kiwi and coffee bean and tea leaf babies. What have we here? Hey, Justine, is this necessary? Absolutely. This is my life. All right, little guys, we have got something for you. I had to shut the stream down. It's quite tragic. So we're we're dark for a minute. This might be the biggest lens I've had on this camera. Because in what world do I ever need a 600 millimeter? Which world is that? Is it this one? Oh my gosh, we are so freaking close to this nest. You guys are gonna lose your minds. So look at the difference between the 300 to the 600. Unbelievable. lens is unbelievable like I can actually see the feathers on these babies like I can the detail is just <gasps> overwhelming There's apparently like hummingbird hats that you can wear and they will like feast out of your hat. This is new information to me. I made this little note. It's a little bit weathered at this point, but I made this for the gardener because I didn't want them to do any sort of gardening on my fake grass that may potentially disturb the babes. Cheers. I'm so sad. I have to end this video this way. This is something that I was so afraid of happening and, and it did. Oh, I can't even look outside. Something knocked the nest down last night. Unfortunately, the babies, they didn't make it. There's a clip of it on Twitch. Yes, I think something just kind of either jumped on the branch and knocked it down. God, I hate it. <laughs> like such a traumatizing week, but coming out here and still seeing Kiwi fly around and we might have spotted her with a boy. Hi Kiwi! Oh my baby, oh I'm so happy to see her. It warms my heart, like just seeing her still here, she hasn't left, she hasn't given up and just kind of seeing her move on has sort of helped me move on, like I know that some people are probably like, this is crazy. How are you so invested in these birds? I don't know, honestly. Like they they captured my heart. They captured all of your guys' hearts here on the internet. And I just wanted to show you guys Kiwi and show you that she's doing well and she's still here. And we've seen her flying around with a boy. And I think she might be looking for a new place to nest. So Kiwi, I think has moved on. I'm sure she's grieving as all of us have. It definitely has been a very, tough week, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Just like,
trying to process it and not sure if I should share it with you guys or anything, but this video was so beautiful and it was so special to me. So I'm so glad that you guys were able to come along for this journey and share Kiwi and her babies. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have another nest and I will protect that nest with my own life.